know, we're fortunate here in Chandler that for years we've had a great budget committee. The budget committee is made up of not only faculty, which are teachers and administrators and classified employees, but it's also made up of our community members, which is people who come from our business community, our parents, and other stakeholders who really value what's going on here at Chandler Unified School District. The budget committee has been very helpful in that it gives guidance. We have a lot of work internally that we do related to the budget, but we want their advice. We want to know if what we're spending our dollars on are efficient and effective, and our budget committee gives us a good gauge on that. So the budget committee actually looks at a number of things. They're going to look at what we have brought to the table related to salaries, benefits, purchase services, supplies, capital items, construction items. As we're growing in Chandler, we're going to have to add staff. So they're reviewing those staff requests and they're going to approve those expenditures. They're also looking at new programs. If we need to bring on a new program at our high schools, our junior highs, or our elementaries, they're going to look at that. They're going to hear from us on what type of program and how it will academically improve our students. We have had a wonderful community who have supported bonds and overrides in our school district, which has allowed us to focus on salaries and class size reduction. And with that, we try to retain and attract the very best teachers and staff that we can. So it's critical to make important budget decisions that align with our strategic plan. We have a lot of need for capital expenditures in our district. We have 4.8 million square feet to maintain. Not only are there superficial needs like painting and carpet and the outside maintenance, but also we have to look at, do we need to replace a roof? Do we need to replace a restroom? But really it comes down to safety and then efficiencies. Because if we don't have an air conditioning unit that's working, we don't have a safe school because it's too hot. Or we might um, ultimately need to grow, and so we need to add capacity so we can meet our students' needs. So a lot of things come into consideration. Safety, need, and then how do we meet the needs of our students so they're in the best environment to be successful.